a plane flew over the building, shook this building, we're on the 35th floor, this is 39 stories. On September 11th, downtown resident and artist James Gilroy was here in his apartment on Greenwich Street, seven blocks from the World Trade Center. He was holding his one-year-old daughter when he heard a loud noise. And I remember thinking, like, what kind of fool flies that close? And then uh, there was a huge explosion. And this dust cloud comes, and it's like milk, you know? It just comes, and it comes right up to this building, and I step inside, and uh, it leaves just a pile of white dust. I mean, it covers the park, it covers the buildings, it covers everything. It's like somebody spray-painted Lower Manhattan with white, you know, ash white. Covered everything with dust. Surrounded by the dust, Gilroy tried to find safety for his family. Well, yeah, you don't know where to run to, you know? Plus, the, you know, I got my wife and the kid, and I tried to keep a wet cloth over my daughter's face. She was screaming, you know? She's, you know, kids. You know, you're wrapping a wet cloth around her head. She's not going for it. <laughs> but I'm still trying, you know. A week after the attacks, with smoke still rising from ground zero, EPA Director Christy Todd Whitman pronounced the air safe to breathe, and many downtown residents, including the Gilroys, returned home. There was dust for months. <laughs> there was always dust in the air. Gilroy and his neighbors felt immediate effects. You talk in the elevator, people started to have reactions. I have insurance, I went to see my doctor and stuff, and he sent me for tests, and he said, well, you have some scarring on you, you know, you're not getting your full lung capacity. So, you know, it's like you're trying to get a breath and you can't get a full breath. And, uh, you know, just, so. <laughs> I don't think that they should have said go back home. I don't think they should have lied, you know? I, I think uh, they should have looked out for people better, you know? I worry about my kid, you know, what's going to happen. I'm an older guy, I had, a, I had anime late in life. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So I worry about my kid, more than anything. <laughs>